Hi students, actually I am doing this topic as a separate video because from my own teaching experience I came to know that uh, students find it very difficult to understand the concept of this topic. In this video uh, we will see plant life cycles and alternation of generation. In plants both haploid and diploid cells undergo mitosis that is equational division. This ability leads to the formation of two types of plant bodies that is a haploid plant body and diploid plant body. Haploid gametophytic plant body and diploid sporophytic plant body. Gametophyte is haploid, sporophyte is diploid. Why it is named as gametophyte? Because it produces gametes. So gametophyte means a gamete producing plant body. Then sporophyte means spore producing plant body. So see, during the life cycle of any sexually reproducing plant, there is an alternation of generation between a haploid gamete producing gametophyte and a diploid spore producing sporophyte. And uh, plant life cycles are broadly categorized into three, are of three types. The three types of plant life cycles are haplontic life cycle, diplontic life cycle and haplodiplontic life cycle. Ha in the haplontic life cycle, the dominant plant body, the main plant body is gametophyte. That is gamete producing. So that forms the uh, dominant plant body. And the gametophyte, gametogenesis is the process of uh, formation of gametes. It produces gametes, gametes, fuses, that is in gamete, fertilization. And after fertilization, a diploid zygote forms. Zygote undergoes meiosis to form spore, spore germinate to form gametophyte. So see, here in this life cycle, sporophyte, a diploid sporophyte, is represented by the unicellular zygote. We can say that um, in plant kingdom, sporophyte is least developed or uh, it's represented by zygote only in algae. That is the speciality of haplontic life cycle. And zygote produces spore, spore forms, gamete to fight. And this type of life cycle is exhibited by algae. Few specific NCRT examples, Volvox, Spirogera and some species of Chlamydomonas. Diplontic life cycle. In diplontic life cycle, the main plant body is sporophyte. That is the dominant plant body is sporophyte. And gametophyte is highly reduced. We can say that its number of cells is limited. Diplontic life cycle is exhibited by higher plants like gymnosperms and angiosperms. An algae that shows diplontic life cycle. Example is fucus. So see here, sporophyte, diploid sporophyte produces spore, haploid spore or through meiosis. Spore germinate to form gametophyte, spores develops to form gametophyte. That means spore undergoes mitosis during the development. And gametophyte produces gametes through gametogenesis. And gametes undergo fertilization, that is in gamete. The resultant product is known as zygote, a diploid zygote, which will develop to form a diploid sporophyte. Here again, zygote undergoes mitosis. This is a diplontic life cycle. Haplodiplontic life cycle. Haplodiplontic life cycle is an intermediate condition. Intermediate condition means in between uh, the two extremes that is haplontic life cycle and diplontic life cycle. Intermediate condition exhibited by both bryophytes and pteridophytes. Here both uh, sporophyte and gametophyte, both sporophyte and gametophyte are multicellular. And the dominant phase varies in the uh, two plant groups. That is in case of bryophytes, we have already seen in the previous video. In bryophytes, a gametophyte is the dominant plant body. Whereas in a pteridophyte, sporophyte is the dominant plant body. 
that is haplodiplodic life cycle. Then few algal uh, genus that exhibit haplodiplodic life cycle. Example, Ectocarpus, Ectocarpus, Polysiphonia, Kelps. Remember, algae usually exhibit a haplontic life cycle. These are exceptions. These three exhibit haplodiplontic life cycle. So see, plant life cycles are of three types, haplontic, diplontic, and haplodiplontic. That's all about uh, this video. That's all about the plant life cycles. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe my channel. And if you have any doubt regarding this topic, uh, please comment below. Thanks for watching.